Hello YouTubers, today in this video I'm gonna show you how to peel off the coating of an old Dell U2711 monitor. Start with the disassembly. The first thing we're gonna do is to unscrew the stand on the back. This one has some Torx screws. Those monitors have high color saturation and uh, brightness so candela per inch is very high so we're gonna lift it up down on the downside and take it out then because this one has two two teeth or notches now we have to lift off the bezel the bezel of the front and we're gonna start this by just grabbing the bezel from here and lifting it by this movement you will know, turn it outside if the plastic teeth are a bit they are built like this so that means we have to take the bezel like this and press it from the monitor screen away so that these can't grip anymore I use my tool here like this and put it inside the bezel here and lift it up so I walk my way and drive my way through the monitor screen from the outside so the last part is really the new button part Just unclip the interface. You can see here now there are some screws here which connect the back side with the main board. And we need to unscrew this too because otherwise we can't lift the metal frame here, which we need to do. So now we're gonna remove the back side with the main board. We're gonna lift the menu flex cables. out this is for the menu and for the power button metal frame doesn't clip anymore now you see it there are these very important flex cables you should not contact with some metal tools like a screwdriver. This foliage which is a tree anti-reflection material coating and we're gonna remove it by wetting it or let the water suck in through at least one to five hours. Therefore we're gonna need towels or paper. You see the different layers. There are many layers but this side shows it very good so there's a brown layer in the middle this is the polarization filter technology. and on the top there's a transparent layer which is the anti-reflection coating and as you can see the surface is a bit rougher so the surface is rough and the functioning is to diffuse the lightning which comes straight or from different angles to diffuse it away so it won't reflect into your eyes we're gonna wet this one on the top with some toilet paper in my case uh, i do this because this one has an older type of anti-reflection coating which is very thick it's a matte layer and the top layer is very thick so it won't break that easy when you start peeling it off the top layer and you realize uh, that the top layer starts to break it's too early so you should wait at least another 15 to 30, 30 minutes again before you start you should check all corners 
for a spot where you can lift the top layer very easy yeah and the top layer is a one or two millimeters overlapping it that's a good position to start with so water has some specific properties it has capillary functions which means when you take it too close to the corners it will find its way it will suck its way uh, to the inner board therefore you don't have to put the papers till the max like here so just so far that it uh, will cover the the top layer paper fixed the adhesive of the co of the top layer of the coating will resolve will lose its grip so it would will resolve itself after a while okay Now you can use a cylindric formed pencil and flatten the surface. On the corner parts you have to be very careful not to press too, too strong. So make sure that the, the paper layer is evenly on the surface. And stay cool, don't rush this, take your time, do your preparation. Enjoy the work. No problem. The outcome will surprise you. So one hour has passed now. And we can start with our first attempt to peel the coating off. We lift, we lift the paper. And we use a tool which is capable of getting underneath the first layer. I recommend a plaque or a phone repair tool. But here in my case I will try a, a random knife. So, so this is an important part. So now you have to be very careful and to watch exactly where the foliage is yeah now you see the the rough surface this is the coating underneath is the polar filter we start here and it comes up it comes up directly it seems no big problem I'm gonna t try to start to grip it from with my fingers only and lift it up a bit. Okay, seems to go up very smooth. Seems no great resistance. In these moments, I feel like an obje objectophile because this is a really satisfying moment for me. I like when plants function, you know. So you see. The polar filter here stays right there. It is very, very resistant to my peeling efforts. And the other foliage here is coming up. So use your force carefully and evenly grab the foliage so you don't create a weak spot so we say in German ein Kraftansatzpunkt because this is the last thing we're gonna need here and watch out for the water which is coming draining out of the first layer Okay, that's quite cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's it. That's it. And this is the virgin-like new surface, my new baby. Now we're gonna reassemble this monitor step by step. So this is the H3 material, full mat, foliage. And you see the structure when you zoom on it. You see a structure to provide the diffusion of the light waves and some people are very sensitive to to recognize these surface structures uh, work under good lightning conditions at mornings or at daytime because you need to have a good side for the corners and the flex cables which are here located here on the downside in this case and don't use hard material otherwise you're gonna break these flex cables moment of truth we're gonna plug in the power AC DC connector on the back side if you hear some cracking or bursting exploding noises you know you've done something very terribly wrong so Okay, function test. Okay, and it's here. Okay, looks like we've done it. Yeah. No broken edges, no broken LCD matrix. Colors. Splendid. So, thanks folks. That's all for today. And I hope you like my video. You're gonna give me a like. Or at least subscribe maybe if you want. If you feel like. And see you then on the next video, I would say. Okay, bye. Yeah, the colors are beautiful now. Unbelievable, what a difference. So cool.